<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, we are going to do some quick unboxing. It's more like a channel update. I ordered a lot of stuff from AliExpress, China, but the problem is like I needed to wait a very long time. This is not really a problem, of course, but I wanted to do a life where I just basically want to unbox a lot of stuff, but it takes forever to get everything in and it's time to start unpacking and that's what we're going to do in this video. It's going to be a mix of, let's say, all kinds of stuff from China, but also stuff I bought locally. I just want to do an unboxing video with you guys. So I'll give you a little bit more an update what's coming up in the upcoming weeks, even month. So let's start. Let's grab myself a scissor and let's try some unboxing. Okay, so this is not a package from China. You would almost think it is, but no, it isn't. So, to be honest, I don't know what is inside. Normally, I order so much stuff after, let's say, a couple of days because I just want to keep up with the latest stuff. But yeah, this is one of those packages that came in and I just wanted to check it out for you guys. And if it's interesting or not, that is something we need to figure out when we're doing the full review. But, oh man, this guy uses a lot of different packaging materials, including some bubble wrap. All right, so I couldn't wait. I just needed unboxing before I started recording. But I'm always like, if you're having different bins over here at the side, you don't see them, but they're basically for the plastic because I'm basically putting that in different bins. The bubble wrap, I try to keep it in good condition so I can try to reuse it because I love to reuse stuff when I'm trying to send something away, for example, or just need to put something in storage. So this bubble wrap always comes in handy. All right, so let's see. So the first thing is the retro station PC for you. It's quite interesting to tech, to be honest. Or it's just a hard drive. Something we're going to figure out in the full review. So it seems to be a hard drive that you can connect. And we're going to look it up, even if this is going to be start working. I can basically like make a full review about it. All right, we did use a lot of nice bubble wrap. Bubble, bubble wrap, wrap, wrap the bubble wrap. Okay, so let's see what we're going to get here. So this is something like a retro station. And to be honest, like I'm quite curious now. Like this is the same box that I've seen before. It comes with the manual, controllers. But they were saying there was something new about this thing. So I'm curious if this thing is any new or any interesting. Okay. I must say there is a quite interesting sticker they are using here with the retro station. I think this thing was called the GXD, but I'm guessing this thing is just, yep, a GT King. So I must say, like, I need to give him some extra credit for being creative with this sticker. But I'll do a full review about this later. All right, so then next one, which quite light. There were a couple of products in here, I know for sure. So let's see how we're going to open this up. We need to start somewhere. And they also use a lot of plastic. Don't you love that plastic and freaking tape? Did you, by the way, see it? Like, you need to look it up on YouTube. There are some guys, like, showing off how they basically wrap these things. It's quite interesting, to be honest. Quite skilled, also. Like, they go all cra tape crazy on these things. All right. Oh, boy. Mm -mm -mm. I've got a lot of bubble wrap. Oh. I must say, he went completely nuts with the bubble wrap. And again, I'm going to have like a very nice stock of bubble wrap again. Oh, okay, so I think it's the last part of it. Put in plastic. And here you can see like the even used and package inside a package. Well, what did I order? There's nothing on the description. Oh man, oh man. I'm not going to cut this. The thing that I'm wanting to do is basically slide it out. So I have a very nice long piece of bubble wrap. Yeah. All right, so. Now we're not done yet. We're going to get two freaking envelopes. So it seems to be there are two products in here. And to be honest, I really don't know what I already ordered because I ordered so much after each other. All right, so let's see. What are these? Ah, so, you know, like I don't use like a lot of these AirBots, but I must say there was one pair I just needed to get. They like so freaking diabolic. I love them just the way how they look. <laughs> oh man, so these things, I have never seen them before from another brand and I just needed to have it. I have no idea how these things will sound, but I can say that this thing looks quite interesting. So that's basically the reason I bought it. I will make a full review on the Wicked Brain Fart channel because that's the channel where I basically have brain fart and upload stuff like that. But for now, we're going to put it back in the box. I'm going to listen to it and we're going to make a video about it later because this thing looks freaking awesome. 
And that's also, yeah, again, the reason why I basically bought it. Okay, so let's try to keep the envelope in good condition because we can reuse it. Okay, so there was a G7 game box and this thing comes with 666 game if I'm recall it. Yeah, so it was kind of funny to be honest, but that's what I think is funny. So I just ordered them and I just wanted to see what we're going to get and it also looks kind of cool. Alright, so let's see what we're going to get in here. Oh, same story, a very big envelope. Ah, so there we have, that was a new model out there and I did like triple check it with all the handheld reviews But no, this is absolutely a new one. It's just called the game player I think there was not really a name with this. So I just order it. It was dirty cheap like always and I can just help myself. I just need to check out for you guys like what are we going to get Consider like also checking out the wicked portable gaming channel where we're going to review all kinds of stuff So ah, that was a thing Ah, oh, they sent me the right color, that a nice purple one. This thing called the X20 Mini. Yeah, so it comes with a slider. It's kind of weird. You almost think that is like a normal or a Nintendo Switch joystick look like, but no. Oh man, this thing feels really cheap and lightweighted. <laughs> oh, and last but not least, then we're going to get ourselves the Retro 2.4G Wireless Controller Gamepad. But what I understand of this is basically like a plug and play device, like many of them. But this kind of comes with a very nice Genesis controller. I was really curious about this one too. Another one for the stack of stuff that we need to review. Alright, so the next one that we're going to check out is the brown box over there. Yeah. Okay, so I already know what is inside and the reason why, because it just came in. And for me, it was like, I have enough of these boxes now, so let's open it up and just see what we're going to get and how everything looks. Because, yeah, I know what we're going to get, or I do, you don't. <laughs> and don't skip, that is naughty. So, let's use my scissor like always. I would say it was surprising that I'm just using a basic round box this time so let's slide it all out or just do an unboxing like this oh, just do an unboxing like this so let's take a close look in here oh there was from the retro skater shop one of those shops i buy a lot of stuff so the first thing that we're going to take a close look at is this new 1080p cable this is for n64 and what you can do basically is like having different aspect ratio and let's take a close look at it later of course make a full review about it mm -hmm. all right we're going to get a brown box another brown box another brown box and not a brown box. So this is going to be like <laughs> like a lot of boxes inside the boxes. Oh yeah, yeah, look at us. Another brown box. So let's see what we're going to get in here. There's a lot of nothing, a lot of packaging material, but nothing else. So let's take a close look in the brown box. Alright, so let's open up box number one. And basically what we're going to get is something pretty damn cool. So this is a free Mac booth like we've seen before, but they have a lot of different versions out there. So that is basically what I ordered. I ordered all kinds of versions and I'm hoping they send me all the right ones. Yeah, I think they do. But they sent me all of the editions. Or better said, I bought them all. Just to see what are the differences and which one will basically fit perfectly in my review. So here we're going to get ourselves the special one from the USB. But I think they just slapped everything in one box. Or... Yeah, there's a different Freemark booth. Here we're going to get a couple of SD. And here we're going to get the freaking cool memory card that I was waiting for. So we can basically actually play with a micro SD from... I have a brain fart now. I mean, like, you can play in a micro SD card and, yeah, play your games like that from a memory card. Oh, man, talking is so difficult sometimes. All right, so I think this is more of the same. Let's see. There we're going to get, yep. The thing is, I just want to see what we're going to get with all of them. And you know, like, there are a lot of these different memory cards out there. So I just wanted to see which one were the best one to check out. Well, let's see what we're going to get in here. And we're going to get even more memory cards. Holy shit, I just realized I ordered too many of these th bloody things. Yeah, so... Why well, they just sent me the wrong ones? Because I can see that we have a couple of similarities. And I can't remember that I basically ordered like a couple of them. Yeah, okay. Okay, I think they just basically sent me the wrong ones because I see a lot of double ones and that is not possible. Let's take a close look in this box, the last one. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. That was the one I needed to order. This is the new version of the PlayStation PSU from 
AliExpress. I just want to have a complete kit because I need, still need to do some modifications with some of those devices I've laying around. So that is something that we're going to do also in the future. Yeah, the future. So let's take a close look at the next box. It's another big one. And, and again, I have no idea what's inside. There's quite a lot of weight, but there is something that is loose. I don't have no idea what's inside. There's always like a surprise because it feels like my birthday when I'm opening up the packages from China. Let me know in the comments, how do you feel about this? Do you also like being happy? Happy. Oh, I'm happy that I'm being very careful with the knife. All right, so what are we going to get in here? So the first one is the 2.4G wireless game controller gamepad 4K system. Aha. So I did a review about one of those devices and my box in the way, go away. I did a review about this device and it was also like in 2.0 or in pro version or nothing says here over here that's in pro version. But I'm curious if they did some, any improvements. Those are like the weird boxes, nothing to do with super conflict or something like that. Let's see what we're going to get here. Ah, oh, yeah. The HD 4K DV game box. There was another weird one. Look at those controllers. So there was also very intrigued about it. And then we're going to get ourselves the ones with the PlayStation 5 controllers. Yeah, so. Ah, oh, those Chinese. They are like very creative with these things. But again, like how is the quality of everything? So that's something I wanted to check out later on. So that was only, yeah, it was a quick unboxing. There's the only thing that's inside of the freaking box. So, all right. So the last one from China, because the other one is something I bought locally. I think it's time for the scissor. Yeah. It's time for the Batman scissor. Waka, 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 waka. Let's see what we're going to get in here. Oh man, seriously? So they used like a plastic... I think it's a plastic bag or something like that. And they went almost with the tape again. Like these things are so difficult freaking to unbox. Especially if you want to do this live with recording. It's going to be such a blast sometimes. <clears throat> ah, here we have. Ah, we're going to get some new fresh bubble wrap. Yep, wrap, wrap the bubble wrap. Let's see what we're going to get in here. See if we can remove it. That goes in the plastic bin. Did they just seriously like unpack everything or pack everything up and they just like put some extra bubble wrap around it? I must say, like, I just give them some extra kudos. They like doing always the extra best to like to pack everything up. Sometimes you get these packages that are like completely messed up, but that's beside the point. <laughs> yep, absolutely. The question remains can I basically? Like, pull it out. Yes, we can. Fine. More plastic and more bubble wrap. All right, so this was more like a four in one. Nice. Bubble wrap. So now I've finished editing this video, you will see like, it takes a lot of time to unpack some packages. <laughs> and I just want to do this live, or better said, in this case, it's going to be recorded. I would like doing like a live stream like I did in the past, but the problem is like I already mentioned in the beginning of this video, it's quite difficult to basically get everything in on time because you have like 30 day window that you can basically like fill, file in a dispute if I recall it correctly. And if you're like waiting too long, you will have an issue. You will have a problem. Okay, so the first one is, ah, that was this cheap Game Boy Advance. I recently, I think it was somebody in the Wicked family pointed it out to me. I was more like, hmm, that's interesting. Let's see which color I, did I order a purple one or what did I order? Ah, do you know what? Not going to check it out. We're going to see it in the freaking video, in the review. Okay, so what is this smaller one? Hmm. All right, oh man, look at this, how much tape can you, can I... <laughs> I think they have like this, this infinite of special plastic and freaking tape over there. Let's see, I can just compact it like that. It doesn't ring a bell. I think it's an handheld again. Yep, I was on my handheld hunting day, so I picked up another handheld. Ah, another one. I completely missed out. There was the Q20 Mini. Yeah, that was the thing that I completely missed out. Yeah, I don't know if it's an 8-bit or something like that. We'll find out in the main review. So let's take a close look at this one. All right, so next up. How are I going to unpack this? Scissor time. Yeah, it was scissor time. Freaking stay sticky, 
素敵テープ。Very 素敵テープ。Come on! あじゃあ、I think I have it now.Yep, I have it.So, it's the p a u k a t i e a h h e s back. p a u k a t i e makes so many of these freaking devices. Ah, there's the p a u k a t i e V2. Another one in my Wicked family asked about a review on my part, and I must say that I was really intrigued about it. It's one of those, let's say, budget devices, not like cheap to the cheap cheap, but they are like slightly cheaper. So, again, an handheld. I would say, like, don't forget to check out the Wicked Portable Gaming channel because basically I'm making reviews about all everything that is portable, including at all the handhelds, and also those videos will be on there. Ah, now I know what it is. I ordered a special controller, and the reason I want to not particularly like review this controller itself, but I want to review this as a complete upgrade kit because I found another interesting device and I needed this for my freaking video. It's again the Ipega, and the thing again, I can still remember I got this back in the day, and it was more like the first generation, not very pleased about it. So I'm more like, ah, let's give it another shot, just see what we can do with this, and uh, what we can use inside of this device. So that was going to be a full video about it, so let me know if you're interested in this upgraded edition. So the save, save the best for last, and I'm hoping I did it. So you know that I was talking about those memory cards and showing you that I want to review them here. There was something I came across on the internet, I just needed to have it. I, just, I think it's so cool in a video, so I picked it up. The funny thing is I, I was searching for it a very long time, especially in a certain condition. And I was more like, not really looking anymore, basically I just wanted to give it up. But we have this algorithm on the second hand marketplace that shows you stuff that you basically maybe can use because you search on certain things. Yep, you see it's blue, has nothing to do with Sonic the Hedgehog, but let's take a close look what's inside. Oh, Harry, Vengaria Leviosa. That was something I was not really waiting for. But there was some pretty cool games in here, and yeah, that's more like a spoiler. You know what it is already, eh? you don't yet. So let's unbox it, freaking big thing first. Alright, so let's take a close look in here, what are we going to get? And this is then the PlayStation Fat model, but this one is the special, was it something like the Blue Ocean version? So I had the black version, I had the silver version, and I came across this one in very nice condition, or that was the seller telling me. The picture was very difficult to see, but yeah, of course it's scratched up like crazy. I must say, I'm not really surprised, it's not like really even bummer, because this, this is just the main problem. Like when my, I think it was the silver one, also had a lot of scratches. And yeah, these things are like very old now, so they will have some wear and tear. But I think it's just really cool, I'm very excited to add this to my collection. So I think it also came with two controllers, so let's take a close look in the box first, because I think they are my two controllers. The blue one! Of course it comes with the cables. Let's see, it comes with Aragon. To be honest, I don't know what I'm going to do with all of the games, some I will keep in my collection. Oh, this is really classic one, Grand Theft Auto 3. I can still remember this, the game was freaking mind-blowing. Then we're going to get Need for Speed on Most Wanted. Never played that game, by the way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I love... You know, like, Underground 1, that was okay. It was fun. But number 2 was absolutely cool with the free roaming and the music in this game. It was epic. All right, Harry Potter. Ooh, this is another classic one. Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Absolutely an awesome game. They made a lot of weird games like The Mummy. No, no. To be honest, I really don't care. Let me know in the comments if you ever played this. Then we're going to get... Kuya, was I like, I've never played it, but it seems to be a pretty a decent good game, or pretty good game. I'm gonna get Getting Up, yep, Getting Out of Bed, that was like, the biggest problem. Medal of Honor, to be honest, not a big fan of those shooting game anymore. Here we go again, Medal of Honor, Frontline, yeah, yeah, oh, another Front, Medal of Honor, yeah, whatever. So then we're going to get ourselves the controller. <sighs> I don't get it, man, you're never going to roll up your cable like that. So the reason I basically picked this up, and I must say the console itself was a gamble. I looked at the picture, but people, they intend to make picture with bad lighting, so you cannot really see like how good quality of the console is. But the reason I picked it up, because you can not really find these blue or ocean blue controls in working condition. So I'm hoping these will work very well. We will not use them a lot because these things are quite rare in my opinion. Then we're going to get ourselves another one. There's some wear and tear over here with the controller cable. Okay, so let's unwrap it. Another thing, the reason why you don't need to do it like that, like here you can see it already, like because you're always forcing it in, you can see like the cable is going to be bending like this and it will always go to get damaged in the inside. So the best thing that you need to do is, basically what I'm always doing is like wind it up like this, not too tight, and then basically putting the cable like that. So that's what we're going to do. 
we're going to leave it. I'm always having all of my controller, most of them like this. But they look very nice, like this funny thing is like the controls quite damaged, but the controllers look very nice. So I'm very pleased with it to have two controls, hoping that both will work and now we'll be to have a basically that be very careful with them. All right, guys, so this was more like an unboxing and quick update, like <clears throat> quick an update. What is going on with the channel and what can you expect in the upcoming weeks, even the month? I have a lot of stuff coming up. So I would say like if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, hit that little bell, become one of the Wicked family. We're going to have a lot of fun unboxing and reviewing new stuff from China, but also locally. Hey, wanna thank you for watching, consider subscribing, hit that little bell, come on the Wicked family, I will see you in the next video. Mm.